Good morning. This is me, Rusty78609, Central Texas, USA. And I'm right here by a winery. <laughs> it's called Pariso's Vineyard and Winery. And that's about from my backyard, about a quarter of a mile. Neat, it's a neat place. They got good wine. It's a good small Texas winery on Park Road 4 in Central Texas, USA. Anyway, I'm just out cruising. Got tired of sitting in the house. And I didn't want to get B-O-A-R-D bored. Is it B-O-A-R-D or B-O-R-E-D? If T-O-W is tow, then C-O-W is co. You got a herd of co's? <laughs> anyway, just out and about killing time, folks. This killing time is killing me. So, you know, that video that I did yesterday for the individual that was having some problems in New York City. Her uh, viewer name was Trigger Warning. And one of the viewers other than her commented that Trigger Warning has a specific meaning on certain apparently certain social website and it's a warning that if you listen to or watch what's coming up next be prepared because it might offend you you know you see how dark that is right now I don't know why that is because it's certainly not dark outside I'm wondering if I have a problem with my camera. Anyway, I'm going to go to my little secret roadside park here. There's a guy. You know, it looks like I'm, I'm one car that's about 40 feet long, but actually it's two cars. That guy's right on my bumper. <laughs> I hate it when people do that. But anyway, this is a little... I've been up here many times. Y'all have seen this probably. You, you people that have been subscribers for a while... <clears throat> this is a little picnic area off of Park Road 4 in Central Texas. And it has a beautiful view of the Texas Hill Country. Probably one of the best views in the whole area, I guarantee you. And uh, unfortunately, my camera ain't doing it right. You know, that is amazing. Why is it that dark? I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Uh, I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's my camera. If it is, it is. But anyway, I'm in the hill country of Texas just cruising around looking for something to do. And I've got my dark chocolate almonds and my black organic tea. We got a lot of cedar up here in the hill country of Texas. In West Texas, they call them juniper. Same thing, cedar. And at certain times of the year, like around December and January, they put off pollen. And cedar pollen will make your nose itch, your eyes water, and make you sneeze. And uh, I'm not, it do, I'm not really, uh, it doesn't really create a major allergy problem for me. But I do notice it. Don't have a whole lot to say. I don't know why it's so dark. 
I mean, I don't know why my camera is so dark. I really don't. I noticed that in a video the other day. And uh, it's a partly cloudy day, sunlit. It should be perfect, but it ain't. Huh. I, w I don't know why she swallowed a fly. I think she may die. You know, unless... Let me check something here. Unless... Unless I've covered something up. Nope, that ain't it. That didn't do poop. So, back to square one. You know, they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, I'm not sure what's causing that. But it is a little dark. Huh. Okay. Today is September the 13th. 2016 and I got a pot of pinto bean. Life ain't bad. I always put a lot of garlic in my pinto beans because I've read a lot about garlic. It's got some, got some good health benefits, supposedly. Probably all made up crap. You know, it's hard to find reliable information. I mean, you can find a lot of information on the internet, that's for damn sure. If you can spell it or get close, you can find it. This is Longhorn Cavern State Park I'm pulling into now. Four miles from my house, and I used to be a tour guide over here. I know I've said that 8,000 times. <clears throat> this was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s. And uh, it was a make works program. Just to give people work. But they cleaned out the cave and built walkways in the cave. And they built these towers up here. And uh, it's really a neat little park. It's uh, it's they say it's a state park, and I guess it is. But the uh, <clears throat> the cave concession is run by an individual, and they've had it for years. You know, a lot of people at full-time RV volunteer as camp hosts to uh, make a little extra income. Well, I don't know that they get some. Most of them don't get paid. They just get a free site. You know, they get a free hookup, so they basically get free rent. So that's probably worth about four hundred dollars a month. So that's not bad, but then you got to mow grass and all that crap. You don't want to see an old building? I'll show you one. Let me get it. How long does this thing been Not too bad. Let me park here. This is Longhorn Cavern State Park. And... Uh, I get my phone out of the holder. Let's go look at this old building over here.
if my camera would lighten up a little bit. Okay, this is a building that was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the mid-1930s and used as the officer's quarters. So that would make that building about 80 years old. See there? That's all limestone. Soft rock. But this was the officer's quarter. And having been in the military, let me tell you, Officers usually live like God, and the enlisted personnel live like shit. I don't think I can go in here. Maybe. I can probably have it locked. Look at that old door in. <laughs> Is that you, Matilda? Damn, Matilda's in there with one of the garbage men and I can't get her out. Shit. Anyway. Pretty interesting, huh? They put the cedar posts in the mortar. And, uh, you know, that's window. Let's see. Let's go around here. Take a look at it. That old camp host needs to get over here and mow. We'll have to tell the park ranger. Anyway, there it goes. So this is building is 80 years old, about. You can't see anything inside. I can't. I figured some of them old officers might be in there asleep. But anyway, this is the overhang up here. Pretty well preserved. They've done a little work on it, not much, just to just to maintain it. No, they got it latched. Peek in here. Looks like they just use it for storage. But anyway, <clears throat> this is the Texas Hill Country, and that's cedar and oak trees, live oak mainly. And I'm burning daylight, ain't I? Aren't these videos exciting? I mean, they're so well thought out. I mean, that's what impresses everybody, is how well planned these are. And the, uh, the script, how well scripted they are. Y'all want to walk down a trail? They got a walking trail here. I used to go walking for exercise here. I did. I'd drive over here in the morning and walk these trails. Let me tell you about this trail right here. This trail right here looks like it's well marked, doesn't it? Well, it is. Right here. Well, what happens is, <laughs> you walk on this trail for about... Well, I'm not going to walk it, but I'll just kind of go part of it. But it, you walk down this trail, and uh, you go about a, oh, less than half a mile, and it just kind of fizzles out. And on the map, it shows that you're supposed to go to the left and make a big loop and come back around, okay? Well, <laughs> you're not careful. You get lost out here in these little... Cedar. But anyway, it's a pretty trail. Isn't that pretty? God damn. Mosquito, I think. I think I got some skeeters out here, folks. And I don't want to feed them. I do not want to feed the skeeters. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Whack it off. 
<laughs> oh, they're going to put me in a home, boy. <laughs> oh, trigger warning, trigger warning. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. This will be one of my viral videos for sure. <laughs>